In Android, there is a method to intercept the events from the user's interaction with your app. When considering events within your interface, the approach is to capture the events from the precise view object that the user interact with. The view class provides them this the means to try to do so. So I need the user when when he click on this uh, this button and I need from the app to perform a specific action. Now, if you want to learn Android app development, go to Udemy and search for Android. You will get my course as a bestseller course, the complete Android 12 developer course, Mastering Android. Click on it. You are you're gonna learn how to build 60 apps from scratch with rating 4.4 and the bestseller. And this course is about 86 hours on video demand. Okay, covering all the topics with 47 sections and about 40, 463 lectures at the, at the time of uh, recording this video. So we are expanding this course and we are adding new tutorials every week. So are you ready to become a professional developer with this course? Join now. Within a varied view classes that you are going to use to compose your layout, you will notice several public callback methods that look useful for your UI events. These methods are called by the Android frame out, framework when the respective action occurs on the object. For instance, when the button is touched, the onTouch event method will be thrown and would be executed. When the user click on this button, the onClick listener would be on click event would be executed. This is why the view class also contains a set of nested interfaces with callbacks that you simply can far more easily define. These interfaces are called event listeners, are your ticket to capturing the user interaction together with your UI. So let's take an example about the event listeners. We have an app Call its ID is button, and we have defined it in the previous video with the B1. Now, in order to if uh, to make a capturing for the event handling, for the uh, for the clicking, click listeners and capturing the event, how to do that? Event listener is an interface within the view class that contains one callback method. These methods are going to be called when, by the Android framework when the view which is registered with the listener is triggered by the user interaction with the item in UI, including the onClick method. How to perform this and or how to implement this interface? We will start by making b one dot set on click listener you see guys we have used the b1 which is the object of bottom uh, of type button and it's called b1 its id is button so the user when click on button on this button this id button it will perform this action so what to do we create a new view on click listener view dot on click listener this is called anonymous and we click on alt plus enter to implement the methods so when we write set on click listener new view on click listener we implement the methods and i will create the on click implement the click method okay now we are ready to, to make an action and to, to make the code and execute the block of code when the user click on the button. Now, what I need from the app to do, I will create a toast, 
later on we will have a new complete uh, lesson about the toast and how to customize it I will uh, pass this or uh, I can make um, get application context and the text would be click uh, click me I will make uh, hello or uh, you clicked me let's run and see when I click on this you clicked me this is the toast so I have used the toast later on we will have a big customization and great customization of that toast but till now I need from you to understand this so b1.set on click listener new view we have passed in anonymous class and we need to pass uh, we we need to override this on click method so when the user click on this button the on click method would be triggered and execute the code inside it so all of this code between these curly braces would be executed click me you clicked me message has been displayed okay now the thing that i need to uh, to show you that i can make the click event not in codes not in java codes i can make the event handling in xml also how i will create a method here sorry i will create a method here outside the on create method so this is the on create method i will fold it i will create public void uh, say hello method what it will do it will create a toast the same way get get application context later on we'll see what is context and um, hey hey my friend this is a method called say hello we have created the event handling and we in the b1 the bottom b1 now let's consider the b2 if i click on b2 nothing will be happening but if we click on B1, it would trigger this action. Now, what I'm doing, I have created a method here called say hello, and I need to link it with the button two. I can make B2.set on click listen in the same way, and on the click method, I can perform the say hello. Okay, I can call the method say hello. But I will show you in the XML how to perform it. I will go to here. In the XML, I will click on button number two. And I will put Android clickable or on click, on click method what i am going to do because i have created a method called say hello i can call it directly say hello method okay say hello okay it's very simple but we need to create it and passing it with the view view perimeter i will click on this creating it i need to pass view view okay so in order to use the xml way i need to create a function that took in the perimeter the view 
and do whatever you want. Okay? So, when now the user, let, let's run and show you. When the user click on button number two, the say hello method will be executed. You see? Hey, my friend. These are the two ways that you can handle the click event on the buttons. Programmatically with using the Java is by using the first one like this, set on click listener and we implement the on click. And you see, we have, uh, we have handled the event on button one. And the second way we have created the on click attribute and we specify what is the name of the method that we are going to be executing while the user click on this button and we need here just to pass the view as parameter if we click on the second hey my friend would method or toast would be executed so this is the click event how to handle the click event in